a Windows virtual machine on my MacBook because the Pongu jailbreak tool only works with Windows right now. You want to connect your iOS device. You want to make sure you trust the computer that you connect to just like that so that iTunes can recognize your iOS device and therefore the jailbreak tool can recognize your iOS device. Now, one quick housekeeping tip, you wanna go into settings and go into iCloud and make sure either iCloud is signed out completely or you have find my iPhone disabled. So just make sure you do that. And then over on your computer, you wanna open up iTunes again, just to make sure that it is being picked up. Your device is being picked up by iTunes and it is here which is a very good sign. So once you've verified that iTunes can see your iOS device, you can open up the Pongu website. It's pongu.io. And as you can see, the English version is not yet out. So we're gonna click the link right here to open up the Chinese Pongu website. And the Chinese version is live right now. So I can click this link right here on the little red stripe and download the tool necessary. So I've already downloaded it. I'm opening up the tool here. You just want to click this button here and you're going to see it load. This shouldn't take too long. I have sped it up just a little bit. And now you want to click this button here. And here's the tool. So just give it a second here and you're going to see the actual jailbreak portion of the tool load up here. So now you want to click this little green button and I have sped this up a little bit. This is going to take a while. All right, now it's gonna ask you for an Apple ID. I've created a dummy Apple ID. This is what's gonna be used to sign the app so that it can run on your device. So I've created a dummy ID. You should probably do the same. I wouldn't use my primary Apple ID on this at all. All right, just click that green button again. And then eventually it's gonna load up. You're gonna see this little message here. Just click the green button again. And then you should see the device management page pop up on your iOS device. Just tap on the email address that you have associated there and then tap trust and then tap the trust pop up. There you go. So now we can just go back to our home screen. And if we click here, it's going to just basically tell you exactly what to do next. We can minimize this tool for right now. You can actually close it out if you want to. So we're going to go back to our home screen and there you see the PP Pongu jailbreak tool right there. So we can just tap on that. It's going to ask you to enable notifications. You want to do so. So we want to tap OK. And then you want to uncheck the little checkbox below the circle. So make sure you do that so it doesn't install any unnecessary app content. And then you want to just tap the little circle. And then you want to lock your device. Like that. And you can just wake it. You can see the notification on the lock screen. Just wait it out and your device should automatically respring like this. And once it comes back up, just unlock your device. And guess what you're going to see when you swipe over? You're going to see Cydia, just like that. So we're going to load up Cydia now. And it's really fast. All right, so there's Cydia. Go to our changes tab. It's been so long since I've seen this. It's kind of, kind of weird. Okay, so we're jailbroken, folks. Now this is a semi-tethered jailbreak. And what that means is basically when you reboot your iOS device, you're not gonna be able to use your apps and tweaks uh, from Cydia. You're actually not gonna even be able to open up Cydia. So what you have to do is perform a semi-tethered boot. And to do that, I'm going to show you right here. See, when you try to open up Cydia, nothing happens. So to get back into your jailbroken state, you actually have to perform a semi-tethered boot. So you just open up the PP tool there, and then tap the circle, lock your device, and just wait. Literally just wait. And it's going to respring. You're going to come back up, and Cydia is going to work. All your tweaks and everything will work. So this is actually kind of cool because you can basically easily get into sort of a non-jailbroken state and then switch back to your jailbroken state whenever you want to. Um, obviously, this is a brand new release, so there's going to be bugs. There's going to be problems. Obviously, we're still waiting for the English version. We're still waiting for a Mac version. So bear with us here, folks. This is a brand new tutorial. There may be some things that you encounter during the process that I haven't covered here, but we will be back with more information 